Hi guys and thank you so much for watching as always. Um, today we're going to be doing a quick video on how you can access the deep web. Um, if you don't know what the deep web is, uh, well then you probably won't have found this video, so that would mean nothing to you. Uh, just to explain, um, I've just done a wiki here quickly. The deep web, web also called darknet, deepnet, invisible web or hidden web, is that portion of the world wide web content that is not indexed by standard search engines. This basically means that um, the, the deep web is <clears throat> people sell websites um, but they're not indexed by people like Google or Bing or anybody else. They're not indexed on search engines so you can't find them uh, through those places. Usually they quite synonymous with illegal activity and but there are, there are other reasons why people access uh, the deep web and personally I access the deep web because well I don't access the deep web technically I access well, I, I go through the procedure of what would get to the deep web just because I can get around blocks and stuff to get um, to websites that I can't normally get to. Uh, things like maybe the Pirate Bay or Yiffy Torrents. And I've shown this uh, method uh, twice before on Yiffy, um, how to unblock Yiffy and how to unblock the Pirate Bay. Uh, but I wanted to go a little bit deeper into it and just show you exactly what the deep web is because uh, I've seen a lot of videos out there now people discussing the deep web and it's quite um, it's quite a thing on the news and stuff um, so I just wanted to kind of explain it a little bit more in the sense of I don't want to explain the whole idea of the deep web um, but just explain how you get onto the deep web so you can have a look for yourself um, it's not illegal to go on the deep web but what I would say is the web some of the websites are very illegal so be very very careful what you're doing on the deep web. Um, the way I'm going to show you will actually be um, an anonymous approach to going on the deep web so you, you shouldn't be tracked going on the deep web but if you want to engage in illegal activity which I personally don't and I would suggest that you don't either um, and I personally really think you should never um, engage in illegal activity in, in the sense of some of the stuff that you can get on the deep web the deep web can be an interesting place to have a look around. Um, but anyway, so what we'll do is we'll have a quick journey through, we'll, we'll, we'll get onto the deep web and then we'll have a quick look um, and I'll show you a couple of um, links. I'll put every, all the links that will be in the description. I'll put a couple of links that will help you get around um, and have a look yourself. But again, nothing on the internet is 100% an anonymous. You can always be tracked at some point. But the way I'm going to show you just makes it very, very difficult for you to be tracked because it changes your ISP, it looks like you are somewhere else. Um, and I'll show you another method as well which will even get you further, <coughs> um, further at anonymity. But anyway, um, less waffle, uh, more getting on with it. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need the Tor browser. Uh, again, link will be in the description. This is the tarproject.org um, browser. Uh, this was um, set up... Um, it's run by volunteers all around the world, uh, as you can read. Uh, I actually pointed to the screen then, but obviously you can't see my finger. Um, but the idea was it was set up by a lot of people to actually... Um, well, do you know what? The easiest way to do it, rather than me just completely filling this video with um, me chatting about it, just read upon... There's loads of stuff to read up. So basically, we download the Tor Browser. So you've got the Tor Browser download button here. Download it and you should get a folder. The Tor Browser folder is this, it's got Browser and then Start Tor Browser. Um, what you do then is you just double click on this, uh, which is the Tor Browser. Uh, what I would suggest as well is if you're going to do this, just shut down any of the browsers you've got. It doesn't, I don't think it makes any difference, but I personally prefer to do that. Right, so what will happen is you'll open up this browser here. Uh, this is the Tor Browser. It's a Firefox browser. Um, what will happen is Right, okay, <clears throat> first things first, never, ever, ever, ever put any add-ons onto Tor Browser. No ad blocks, no anything at all. Don't add any extensions, don't add any themes, don't add anything onto Tor Browser. Just use it as a basic browser, okay? Next thing you need to do is, one second, so... When you, when you get this browser, sorry, but when you, when you first actually start the browser up, it's going to ask you, um, do you want to configure or are you, do you want to just access, do you, do you want to go straight in? It, unless you're using proxies already and stuff, you don't need to configure anything. Just literally say, I want to connect. So just connect straight through. Um, as you'll see, it didn't say that on when I started it because I've already obviously installed it. So, But basically, just click on connect and go straight through. Next thing you need to do, and this 
will save you a lot of problems, um, well, anonymity problems. Just click on this button on the side here, um, and what you want to do is forbid scripts globally. Click on that, so that that S has got a big red circle and a red cross through it. Basically, that stops things like Java um, running in the background. Um, might not sound like a big deal, but Java can be a vulnerability for your anonymity. It can give your information away. So the problem with um, using a Tor browser, you can't really access things like um, YouTube because you haven't got any, you know, flash players or anything installed because you can't have any of that installed on a Tor browser because everything that you add on can be used against you. So. Basically, we've got our uh, basic Tor browser here. Um, what you'll get when you get the basic is you get the most visited, learn more about Tor on the Tor blog. And so basically, if you want to have a good read about the Tor and what it means, uh, the Onion browser, then have a look at that, read through stuff. But what you won't get is this and this. Okay, so the first thing that you need is the hidden wiki. The hidden wiki is a place where the links of the Onion sites are contained. So if we just wait for this to start up. Uh, with the Tor browser as well, you're not going to get super fast internet connections uh, because it's going through proxies and all over the place. But so basically, you'll get the hidden wiki, and you can search through here. You can search for different stuff. But you get financial services, commercial services, anonymity and security, hosting, web file, image blocks, as these wikis, forums, board chans, email message. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, this will give you a starting point of where, you, if you want to look for a certain thing, then that'll give you a, a, a you know a place to go to. Um, so like, for example, let's have a look at something, uh, let's have a look, I mean, the, the thing is as well, that a lot of this, again, a lot of this stuff is illegal, so you just got to be very careful that you're only going on things, you know, that can't get you in trouble. Um, okay, so we'll just say this, I don't think this site is legal. The C store, the original cardage store, whatever that is. Never heard of it before. But you get the idea anyway. Th this stuff is on the um, the deep web. Um, so this is stuff that you can't access through Google searches or anything else. Um, I'm not sure what that site is. Um, I'm not going to go any further into it. But the other thing you might need as well, um, if you really want to keep your anonymity, um, what you can do is you can go to this one. Uh, public CGI. And basically what this does, um, this will slow down your connection a bit further as well, but this adds an extra level of anonymity, it's a, another proxy. So you, basically what you're doing is, I mean the Tor browser is a proxy in a sense of um, it hides your identity. So what you're doing is you're accessing Tor as a, an, a, an anonymous person, but then you're accessing something else which makes you even more, well, makes that connection anonymous as well. So you got two layers of anonymity there. So what we what you would do is say you wanted to access this, but more like privately, you paste in the surf it again. It redirects through CGI proxies. It'll give you a it'll give you a link here. So it says uh, now redirecting your request for CGI web proxy service. Um, so it said all oh, the URL is encoded. Um, so basically, you just click on that. Oh <laughs> god, trust it. This is all received record that I see the maximum person is launched. Oh right, okay. But anyway, basically the uh, I think the web address was too long. No, it can't have been. Well, anyway. But say you wanted <laughs> just to give an example, sorry, I just completely screwed that up. Um so say you wanted to access um piratebay.se. We'll do it the easy way. So it'll give you a redirect code. Okay, so there we go. So what's happened there is now is we're on the uh, Tor browser. So the Tor browser is already bouncing our ISP about, uh, sorry, our IP about. Um, your your address is now obviously anonymous, but now you've gone through a public CGI thing, which is this um, proxy service, and it's now changed that IP as well. So now you're you're even more anonymous now. It, it, it's just another level of um, security. On your behalf, but again, like I've said, if you want to access the um, the deep web, this is how you do it. Um, this is a great starting page if you want to do access things on the deep web. Um, all these are going to be, um, I mean, uh, there's a, a, a private email service that you can get onto. Um, 
Torbox. I'm not sure it's what you'll find as well is a lot of these web services. Um, you'll always find as well at the end there dot onion. That's rather than dot com, it'll be dot onion. Um, these are the um, hidden things, but you can get um, like email boxes that um, are completely anonymous and stuff like that. You can get quite a lot of nice, cool things, and you can get some good information off there as well. But like I've said before, you've got things like this. There's a lot of illegal stuff um, on here. And I'm not, I'm not going to go too far into it. Um, it's not something that interests me. Um, but I, I did have a kind of look around uh, the deep web. And I did find some interesting um, articles and other stuff. But yeah, so if you wanted to access the deep web, uh, this is how you do it. Um, again, I'm not advocating illegal um, activity. But it's a nice way, especially if you're in a country where the internet is... Um, well, controlled by a government or it's controlled by an authority of some kind um, this is a really nice way to get around blocks um, get around kind of anything like that I mean because don't forget, but the thing with the hidden wiki as well sorry not the hidden wiki with her uh, tour is um, your search engine is not Google um, your search engine is the start page um, so you can search for like well I mean you can you can do any searches you want really so I've just did a YouTube search uh, this comes automatically with um, Tor, um, but you can get, you can search for anything on start page and you can find things and get around the blocks that are, are, are stopping you getting onto certain sites. But like I said, again, I'm not advocating any legal activity by any means or any stretch. I don't advocate it and I don't want you to do it, um, but there's a lot of quite interesting things on there. So uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, and I'll catch you on the next video, guys. And uh, take care of each other. And uh, goodbye.